Oh, guys, it's finally here. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Warf Reactions. My name is Wolfie, and today we're going to be taking a look at Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisp Part 1. Without further ado, guys, let's hurry up and get right into this. All right, here it is, chat. Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisp. So... I guess this is a precursor to Sonic Colors, or a uh, story that took place during Sonic Colors. I guess Sonic Colors Ultimate coming out, this is a great way to hype it up. So let's see, produced by Yukio Kusumuso. Yeah, this is definitely taking place during the- of course it takes place during the events of Sonic Colors. Already we see in the Wiss getting captured. Ooh, ooh, that actually kinda looked painful! Oh snap! Oh! Make a run for it, make a run for it! Oh my god, did the meme. He <laughs> gra grabbed him up. Yeah, it actually looks painful how, how they're getting like their energy harness. We, we were told that it was bad, but like seeing it is kind of worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, sorry. I was just like into the story and then that egghead impression took me right out of it. Wow. Okay, then. Would you like to read Eggman's lines? No, no, no. Does tail sound different to you, or is it someone else? Might be someone else. Hang on. <laughs> we haven't got to hear Roger Craig doing an Eggman impression since Sonic Boom. He actually sounds pretty decent, too. Of course. I'd have more if you hadn't dropped so many capsules. I guess that's the most I can expect from the garbage I invent. That's uh. Sonic, where? No, he's gonna kick my butt. Oh my god. Sonic. <laughs> you have to stop ad libbing, please. Just read what the translator said. He's so sassy. The direct translation was a little dry, okay? I'm just spicing it up. This poor Jade Wisp is telling us her tragic story. And yet, let's be respectful. Oh. Ugh, fine. Hey, Jade. Feel free to throw in a joke or a car chase or something to keep it interesting. Some levity, please. Sorry. Please continue. Hey, Sonic. Man left right after that. He hopped into a cool car with flames on the side and drifted away, but then it exploded. What? And then suddenly a dinosaur appeared. Wait. Really? Wait. Wait a minute. That's more interesting for me, aren't you? Ah. Uh, <laughs> wait, was that a Mario reference? Another robot in charge of the others. <gasps> Metal Sonic. Metal. Uh oh, it's Metal. Good. Good. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Honorable. <laughs> Outstanding. No I'm engineering such as your son. Amazing. <sighs> Pay him no mind. His voice chip has been on the fridge. Okay. Rocket. Now. Is there anything we can do to make your time with us more pleasant? Ah, yes, of course. Our jobs. We've just got to get these wisps processed and shipped out across the planet. And it's nice to see Metal Sonic's voice actor is still killing it after all these years. Like complete bumbling imbeciles. Hang on. But don't you worry, big bro. Oh, big bro. You, big bro. Anyway, we aren't Technically... Are we, Cuba? Uh, technically speaking, yeah, Metal Sonic is the oldest, one of Eggman's oldest creation. Oh, snap! The Wisp Resistance. I thought for a second that one had an eye patch. That one has a scar? These are some battle-hardened Wisp. Metal's like, do not let Metal Sonic see you. Oh, actually, this works. Join the Wisp Resistance. What? Oh, that's right. That's what the Jade Wisp does. Damn it, they all escaped. Peace. Uh oh. I was going to say. Damn, they dip too. They <laughs> just gather all these whiz. Uh oh. Okay, Metal Sonic's getting it done. 
If you can't count on anybody, Eggman always counts on Metal Sonic to get it. Oh! Cube! Oh, it's okay. That's kind of sad. Save him. No, all of them. Right, Sonic? Sonic, are you listening? Yeah. The only part I didn't hear was where I can find these creeps and aggressively recycle them. Hmm. I can lead you right to them. Great. I have a zero tolerance policy on bullies. We'll save your friends. Yep. Just please, no more stories. Now let's get going. Impatient he is, but a good heart he has. Yeah, I like that. A zero tolerance for bullies. Makes sense. That's exactly why he did what he did in Sonic Colors. Saving these aliens. Damn. Yeah, Mel's line's just cold. He don't care. Wow. Oh, no. He can't end it there. Man, I was just getting invested. Even more so than usual. Okay, you know what? I wasn't 100% sold on a Sonic Colors animation because I thought it was going to be like a retelling of Sonic Colors already, but... Like that they're telling a kind of a different little mini story what happened. By the way, buy Sonic Colors Ultimate when it comes out. And if you, you know, get it. So, interesting. Wait, is there going to be a stinger? In loving memory of Kasuga Naga, you are always with us in the life we lead. Oh, no. I'm not sure who that was on, on Sonic Team. Is that someone who passed Someone who passed away? But I'm not sure what their, what their, uh, uh, position was in Sonic Team, or, or Sega, period, but, uh, rest in peace, uh, whomever that was, uh, there's a lot to take in, in this animation, like, uh, okay, call me crazy, chat, am I nuts, but, like, is Tails voiced differently in this one? Uh, they, it's very close, but, like, I want to say this is Kate Higgins? Instead of Col Colleen, I think I think Colleen's the current voice actress. Again, both of them are great. I, I love both of them. But like, is that that that's not Colleen, is it? I think that's Kate. Which makes sense because I think Kate voiced Tails in Colors. But I think uh, Colleen took over the role in Boom and Beyond. I will say one thing. Uh, speaking of voices, I think I think Roger did a really good job in this one. But again. Here's what it always comes down to is voice direction, because I always believe a voice actor can deliver a, a, a great character, you know, a great oh, character sorry. voice, as long as they're given proper direction. I, I think it's like weird, right? Where in like the animations, I believe Roger's Sonic really comes out good, like like Sonic Boom. I, I just think it's the direction. I think the game direction, the game voice direction is usually told, they tell him to do something a little different, so he kind of sounds a little off, but like, here he sounds pretty good. Yeah, like, he's got the perfect amount of, it's like, this is almost Sonic Boom levels of sass, but like, it fits perfectly. Impatient, uh, uh, sassy, and, he, and he's taking it relatively seriously, except his part, but you know. But like, once he hears what actually happened, and of course, Metal Sonic being there, he's like, oh crap, I gotta take this seriously now. And, and can we talk about this? Like, why they gotta do the wisp like that? Why they gotta, why is, what's up with Eggman? Is this gonna be like a running theme for Eggman now? He just grabs things and chokes them out? He did that with Tails Doll in the uh, 30th anniversary IDW comic, the, the classic one. Like, he choked out Tails Doll too, he just grabs things by their neck and just like strangles them. It's like, hey, Eggman, can you chill? Like, come on. He's a tiny alien. It's like, you don't have to choke him out like that. Yeah, man, this is great. But yeah, interesting. We had a whole little resistance here. And I like that there's a nice little callback to uh, Sonic Colors itself with with Cubot's voice still being jacked up. And I love that Metal Sonic just like, you. he doesn't talk at all, but you can just feel like he has... There, he emits this aura of, like, intensity that is so hard to, like, put down, and it's like, he doesn't say a word, but yet he still has, like, a presence about him. You can still tell he's pissed off and, like, just look at him, he's just like, I, are you guys really related to me? My boy Metal Sonic is ruthless, legit, like, man, Metal Sonic is such a, oh, man, I always love Metal Sonic's design, hang on, hang on, let me just, uh, 
I always have a little Metal Sonic right next to me. In the, in the case I gotta talk about him, you know, he's right here, Metal Sonic, I love him. But, uh, uh, yeah, I like that, I like that Q-Bot here. Watch this, like, no, not Orba, Orba, watch what Orba does. He's like, I call you big bro, I like that. Like, he's like, like, Orba is like so just into Metal Sonic. He's just like, this is the cooler, he's basically the cooler older brother, if you really think about it. Like, yeah, this is, this is cool. So, interesting to see that Dr. Eggman left Metal Sonic with Orbot and Cubot because he probably knew that Orbot and Cubot would screw it up. And obviously, if Orbot and Cubot had been there by themselves, without Metal Sonic there to clean up after them, after they almost had their near escape, almost all of them would have escaped. But thanks to Metal Sonic, only one or a couple escaped. Uh, the Jade one that tells them what happened. So. Interesting. So this is going to be, I guess, a side story of what happened during Colors or a little bit before Colors. I'm not sure exactly where this takes place, but man, they, I hate how they cut us off right here, though, man. Okay, I'm interested. When is part two? That's all I got to ask. When's part two? I will say it also did a really, really, really good job of making me care about the Wisp. Like, I've kind of been iffy on them. They're no chow to me, you know, but like the Wisp. They're not bad. They're not bad. But, uh, oh, I accidentally full screened it. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of this. What did you guys think of this animation? Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and ring the bell to let YouTube know that you want to watch the videos I put out when I put them out. For now, that's going to do it. I can't think of anything else I may have missed. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comment section. Yeah, I, I, I'm i still going to say that's. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I could be crazy, chat, but I want to say Tails is voiced by Kate this time. Save your friends. Just please, no more stories. Now let's get going. Yep. I still like that. Uh, yeah, I think this is a great animation. This is gonna be cool to see. I wonder how many parts there's gonna be. Uh, I'm sure people already know this is like four parts, but man, that's cool. All right, chat. I guess I will see y'all next time. So in the meantime, be sure to get vaccinated, wear your mask, and be safe out there. Be smart. I'll catch you all next time. So stay tuned.